Well, it's not well known what a sawfish is, but some middle school students at Flower Mound are quite familiar with it. It is the most endangered fish in the world, and they're trying to change that. Here's meteorologist Jeff Jameson with today's Weather 101 and some science stuff. Deep in the ocean, you might find this strange looking sea creature. It's called a sawfish, and there aren't as many of them around as there used to be. How awesome would it be if we could make an impact here in Flower Mound and then if it could spread? This is Kay Walter's seventh grade science class at McKamey Middle School. These students are wanting to use the power of media to bring more awareness. You guys are all doing a different PSA, right? Because we need to educate the public about things about how our environment is changing. These students are not working to just try to change their community here locally, they're trying to change the entire world. I always tell them they're going to change the world. They innovate and they think outside the box. The quest to save the sawfish started last year when Dallas World Aquarium came to the students to ask for help. None of us had ever heard about sawfish before. We were like, what the heck is that? Why is it so important? But Berkeley Broker quickly went to work to educate herself on the perils of sawfish when it comes to plastic pollution in the oceans. My little PSA has been going around to Australia, Europe, Africa. People have been seeing it and they've been seeing how, oh, this pollution is a big problem. We have a lot on pollution because that's a big deal in the oceans right now. They think that there's going to be more plastic than marine life in 2050. So the mission for each of Ms. Walder's students is to get the word out, one PSA at a time. And I just want people to be educated, mostly young children and teenagers, because if they don't fix the problem, then they're not going to have a beautiful world to live in. 